We're here on Sweet Scoop before the ball game. It's game two against Victoria, and I'm here with manager Frank Mutes. What a, what a ball game last night, two to one. What did you think about the pitching staff, especially Easton Lucas? Oh, he did a great job last night. What I liked about him is he got ahead of hitters, uh, used that change up and that breaking ball to keep them on their front foot, keep them off balance. And with this park, especially the center and right, it's a big park, and we did a really good job of uh, keep them, keeping them off balance. Uh, I really, really think that he picked up where he left off last year. And uh, having a year at Pepperdine, I think he's going to be even better for us this summer. What we have to do, though, is we got to be careful of his pitch counts. We need to watch his innings, make sure we can keep him here through the summer because if he keeps going out every night like that and throwing five innings each time now, he might have to leave us early. But uh, I don't see that happening. We'll, we'll keep his innings under control. But really proud of the way he went after it uh, with a, such a big crowd and such a big moment. What did you think about Kyle Narahara out of the back end there, uh, striking out the side in the ninth? Well, it's kind of funny. I know he had a great year for Monterey Bay. But I was telling the coach, we were in the dugout and got to a 3-1 count. I went, oh, no, please, here we go. And then all of a sudden, strikeout, strikeout, strikeout. I went, well, good. I, I, I knew that he could do that. Maybe he was a little nervous at the beginning, but Kyle did a great job. And, and we're going to count on him, rely on him throughout the whole summer to close the games down for us. But uh, good arm, good slider last night, and really appreciate his effort. So you guys saw six bags yesterday on the offensive yeah. side. When you put this lineup together, is that something you thought you were going to see? Well, we are hoping that when you go out recruiting that you can find guys that can run. And uh, at this level, I, I, I don't necessarily like having to bunt. But if you can find enough guys that can run, and it saves an out. It, saves, it could have saved four or five outs for us if we had to bunt. But uh, those guys can all run. All of our outfielders can, even a couple of our infielders. So we're going to put pressure on teams. We're going to go. And if we get thrown out, hey, we got thrown out a couple times last night. However, we pushed the defense, and that's how we, we scored runs. What do you want to see out of Jackson Week tonight here in Game 2? Well, I, I want him to go out and, and pitch with his personality. Real laid-back guy. He's, going to, he's a really strong competitor. And just go out and throw strikes like he always does. He's not going to be overpowering, but he's going to throw the ball where the catcher you know, puts his glove. And that's kind of my expectation for him tonight. Give us good four strong innings, and then we'll go to the bullpen and see what happens. All right, the Sweets will take on Victoria tonight in game two. 7.05 first pitch here at beautiful Borleski Stadium. We'd love to have you out here, but if not, you can listen on ESPN Walla Walla. For Frank Mutes, I'm Zach Bigley, and I'll do it for Sweet Scoop.